for SharePoint, I use that one mainly in um, my company, which is a fairly large one. Um, we specialize in med tech, I would guess. That's like the main category. It's for it's, yeah, it's a it's a bigger than I would say like 30k employees. So it's quite wide, like what products we um, produce. But it's mainly in med tech, and yeah. So for SharePoint, it's mostly around like coordination with internal teams, and then Dropbox. I mostly use personally, to be honest. Um, occasionally, we'll run into contractors or external people who do use Dropbox. Um, so that's when we do some file sharing that way with them. Um, but commonly our internal default is SharePoint. Organization, everything from, you know, MS Teams for communication and coordination within the teams to like OneDrive to Word, you know, Excel, all of that. So I think um, because we do use MS Teams, it kind of naturally, you know, every MS Teams has a SharePoint site associated with it. And because of that, like, you know, even when we don't necessarily need an MS Teams site, um, oftentimes we'll just create one regardless, just as a, a standing point for people to deposit data across projects. To be honest, I think the user interface, I kind of prefer it in Dropbox for just very simple file sharing. And I think maybe even for like document tracking, like change tracking, um, I haven't used that a ton, so I can't really speak to it too much. But I think in terms of like how friendly the UI is, I think Dropbox is way more friendly. Um, and it's just, but you know, in terms of integration, SharePoint obviously does that better with MS Teams. The main usability feature we look for is just really like integration because, um, you know, we're really just using it as a file repository more or less. And so because of that, I mean, SharePoint is definitely like way better just because I personally, I haven't tried to integrate Dropbox into MS Teams. I think um, I know some people ask IT to look into that, but I think, you know, naturally SharePoint integrates the best into MS Teams just because they're, they're literally like the same, like an MS Teams site is a SharePoint site. Um, so that just makes like file structures, things like that really easy to navigate between the two. Um, because if you go into files under MS Teams, it's basically going into the file structure in the corresponding SharePoint site or the back end of SharePoint. So I think because of that, you know, it's hard to do better. And also because we all have an MS you know, login. So in terms of security, I know that's often been a concern. Like when we do go to Dropbox or a third party, um, it's always a concern with IT in terms of, you know, how secure is it? And, you know, we can create an associated login with our work email, but that sometimes isn't sufficient. Um, so I think, you know, in terms of control that IT has, in terms of making sure everything is vetted and secure, um, SharePoint is also better in that sense. I know with SharePoint, like I, it's it's a good feature. Um, I wouldn't say it's like the one that you know really made us go this direction, but it's a feature we leverage. Is you can create a SharePoint site, um, so that's fairly nice because you can, in addition to you know having a file repository to structure um, and versioning and things like that, you can also have like a kind of like a home page and be able to navigate um, around it. Like like I said, the UI isn't brilliant, <laughs> so um, it's not like a standout feature, but it's like a nice plus because I know. Know some people have leveraged that to create like you know like a landing site for if you're curious about how IT works or about one of our service organization works they'll create like a little landing site in addition to having files um, that you can pull from them so I know that that's sometimes like useful and helpful. So I would say that if you do need an integration with an Office Suite, like Microsoft Office Suite, I would definitely go with SharePoint just because it is a pain to integrate. And I know with like file repository storing systems, like it's really helpful um, to have that integration just for the speed of access, um, just so you don't have to keep logging into different platforms. Um, but if you don't, if you are not thus restricted and you want to, you know, just basically have a file sharing system and there isn't a current one um, that you're kind of locked into within your more, I guess, like global ecosystem that everyone in the company uses, then I would actually recommend looking into Dropbox um, because I do think that they do a lot of things well and it's the ease of use is definitely there. It's just, you know, if you can't integrate it with the stuff that you already have to use it, you know, it's a, it's a very minimal added benefit.